What's good, family? Hope all is well. Adana Jah here with another video for you. Um, it's been about two years since I last dropped a video. Well, maybe not two years. Maybe about a year. I've probably exaggerated just a little bit, but it's been a while. It feels like it's been forever. I missed you guys as well, and I apologize for taking so long to deliver some of this positive energy toward your business, right? To deliver what I what I promised in the beginning, which was to to make sure I brought you guys the real. You guys, you gals, anybody out there that's interested in wholesaling, anybody out there that's just here to just learn about the business, to, to get educated just a little bit. I'm not saying that I know everything, but I do know a lot. Um, I've been through a lot. I've probably made tons of mistakes, and a lot of those mistakes are mistakes that I'm sure you make maybe right now. Maybe you've made it before, and you're here now because, hey, look, I have a question, and maybe I have the answer, right? Well, you have a question and maybe I have the answer. And I hope you find it in any one of my videos. But today, specifically today, I wanted to talk to you guys about double closing. What exactly is a double close and when exactly should I do it? Right? That, that's the question. When should I double close? When is the right time to double close? Is double closing something I should do on every deal? What if I don't want the end buyer to see how much I make? What if I don't want the seller to see how much I make? I'm here to tell you that double closing is not always necessary. It's not like the end all be all. Like if you don't double close, the deal is going to fall apart. No, that's not how it works. I mean, I've literally double closed one deal. One. And that's that's a deal that I'm about to tell you about. Maybe I won't go into, into full detail about the exact deal, but I'll tell you why we ended up double closing. And I'll save that deal for another video. Just make sure you comment below. Let me know you want to know about it and let's talk about it, right? But anyway, so about, about double closing. What exactly is a double close? So a double close is when you have two transactions happen under one property, right? So you get the property under contract. We'll use, we'll use letters for just for the sake of things, right? So you have a contract between A and B. A being your seller and B being you. Okay, so you, you give them that, that purchase agreement, right? You fill it out, they fill it out. You take it to your closing attorney or the title company, whichever one suits fit for you. Um, and from there, you'll discuss with your attorney or, or the, the title agent, say, hey, look, you know, I wanna go ahead and double close this just to save face. You know, Maybe I don't want people to see how much I make or whatever the case may be. Not that that's an issue, but let's just say that that's what you want, right? So you say, I wanna double close, right? Let's use small numbers just to kind of keep things simple. You buy this, you get this property under contract for $50,000 between you and the seller. So $50,000, you get it between you and the seller. You take that contract and you, you run your title search like regular, but here, here you go. You, you get B and C. Now B and C is between you and the end buyer, right? So first you'll close A and B at $50,000. Right? Let's say you're selling, you're assigning that property to the end buyer for a hundred for fifty thousand dollars, right? That's the assignment fee. Um, so now that's a total of a hundred thousand dollars. So that hundred thousand dollars is now going to be used to close both sides of this transaction. Now we'll have you understand that uh, those are two. That's two closings that you're doing. So however much it costs to close the first one is exactly how much it's going to cost to close that second one right so now you just got to worry about two closing costs um and yes you're responsible for the whole closing cost normally we don't you know we, we might put that insert that somewhere in our contracts um and when we assign it excuse me and when we assign it to our end buyer you know the end buyer takes on that closing cost term however your contract is set up make sure you have your attorney look over your purchase agreement or whatever the case may be so that way you you know everything's clean but so you go ahead and you assign this deal right to an end buyer right but for some reason you want to protect the numbers so you close the deal with a right and this normally takes about 10 15 minutes it, it's a it's a very quick transaction when it comes to double closing because what the what the title company or the closing attorney does is they take that total of a hundred thousand dollars and they use that to close side a and then to close side b 
right? So I'm, I, I'm, I might have added another letter in there, C, but but side A would be between you and the seller, and then side B would be between you and the end buyer. So they take that hundred thousand dollars from the end buyer, and they close it with the seller. So now the seller's closed at fifty thousand dollars, right? And now here you go, you 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 you're selling this same property to an end buyer for a hundred thousand, right? With with that fifty thousand dollar assignment fee, so they take that hundred thousand and then they close it between you and the end buyer. So now the end buyer only sees on a HUD because you're gonna get two HUDs, right? The first HUD is gonna have fifty thousand between you and the seller. The second HUD is gonna have a hundred thousand dollars between you and the end buyer because for about 10 minutes you own the property okay so you even have to sign the documents and everything you own that property for about 10 minutes tops 10 minutes and it's and that's why it's always good to build relationships with whoever you're closing these deals with and when i say whoever i'm talking about a title company your closing attorney whatever your real estate attorney whoever it is that you use you want to make sure you build that relationship with them um so in the, in this particular uh, situation in this in this deal that we did my attorney actually brought it to my attention he came to me saying hey Adonija I think mm, it doesn't look like the seller's gonna be making much money on this plus she has like a a lien on the property or some type of judgment that you know might be taking away a little bit of whatever she's ma supposed to be making um, I do want to negotiate. This is from my attorney. So I do want to negotiate with her. I mean, with the uh, with the company that's that has this lien on her, and I want to I want to offer them something extremely low. But I'm pretty sure that they're gonna see your assignment and they're gonna to say to me, "Hey, well, why don't you just take away from this gentleman's assignment and and pay off whatever her her, her lien is?" Um, so he asked me, "Well, how would you feel about that?" And obviously. When he brings it to me like that, I'm, I'm going to say, well, you know what, let's to protect everything. Let's go ahead and do the double close. So he was successful in his attempt um, with the negotiating and and he was able to bring it back, you know, get get that number down completely. Um, and, and we were able to close on this property. We double closed. So that seller ended up walking away happy and the end buyer ended up walking away happy. And we ended up walking away happy because... For one, we're in the business to serve people, right? And two people got served. Somebody ended up buying a property that they felt like doing some, some major work to. In a beautiful neighborhood, by the way. I'll tell you about this deal later. I promise. Just make sure you comment below. Hey, tell us about the deal. And I'll make it, I'll create another video just about this deal. I'll create another video about the deal anyway. How about that? But we ended up doing that. We ended up closing on the property, right? So... Let me just break down that double close into you one more time so that you get a better understanding of it. Um, so you have two sides, right? So side A is between you and the seller. Side B is between you and the end buyer. You own the property for about 10 minutes tops. It's not a very long transaction because it's a quick flip, quick turnaround of that money. The closing agency or the, the, the real estate attorney will take that money they close side a with whatever you agreed to with your uh, seller and then they close side b with whatever you agreed to sell the property to the end buyer for and whatever is the in between amount whatever your assignment fee is you get paid that but nobody knows nobody knows right nobody knows and i don't have a problem with not double closing i don't i don't really care who sees my fee you know, because I always say if they if they care too much, if your end buyer cares about how much you're making on a property, then chances are they shouldn't even really be your end buyer, right? I I work with I work with people that work with integrity. They have they uh they really close on these properties, and you know they 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 know you know they know if if they know that you're in the business to make money, then you know they they really don't care what you make, especially if you're bringing them great deals, right? And and that's that's a topic for another for another video, right? But if you, if you bring great deals all the time, then guess what? All the time, these buyers are gonna come to you for the deals. They're gonna come to you for these deals, and they're not gonna care about what you're making because the numbers work anyway. And that's one thing to always make sure you do. You always want to make sure that the numbers work. 
before you go ahead and market that out to anybody. If they don't work for you, what makes you think it's going to work for an end buyer? Right? So I hope you get a clear understanding. I hope you got a clear understanding of what exactly a double closing is. Um, again, two HUD statements are printed up, you know, because it's two transactions. You do own the property for a brief second and you end up walking away, you know, not not really feeling guilty about anything. Not that you should feel guilty, but hey, some people might feel guilty, right? So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all right? And hit that bell in the bottom corner, right? Hit that bell down there so that you get notified as soon as I drop a video. I got a lot more for you guys coming, all right? You take it easy. Peace.